Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get back into programming using the backdoor method if you're locked out of programming on a Honeywell Lynx Touch L7000 security system. Now we have our uh, L7000 right here, and uh, normally when you go into programming um, and, and then you do your changes in programming and you exit programming, you always want to choose yes when asked if you want to allow the installer to re-enter programming because that will prevent you from being locked out. But if you choose no, then you can become locked out of programming and you'll have to do the backdoor method to get back in. So um, I'm going to take the system into programming right now and then I'll show you um, the option that I'm talking about and how you can become locked out of programming and then what you have to do if you do become locked out of programming. Um, you might also need to do this if you don't know the installer code for the system, then this is another way that you can get into programming. So, we're at the main screen of the Lynx Touch L7000 security system, and we're going to choose security, and then we're going to choose more, and we're going to choose tools, and then we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 4112, and then we're going to choose program, and now we're in programming right here. So, uh, when I press the back button, it asks if I want to allow the installer to re-enter programming, and you always want to choose yes at this option because it will allow you to get back into programming. But now I'm going to choose no, and you're going to see that um, it allows me to, well, it won't allow me back into programming. So I'll choose program, and I'm going to back out, and this time I'm going to choose no, and I'm going to choose yes, I am sure. And um, you do have to wait a few minutes for yourself to become fully locked out of programming, because um, otherwise it'll let you right back in. But we'll wait a few minutes, and then we'll try this again. All right, we've uh, waited around a little bit, so uh, we're going to try to enter program now. And you see, it doesn't allow us back in. Um, we we're locked out of programming. Uh, never do this. Um, but um, now I'm going to show you the process for getting back into programming. So we're going to go back out to the, the main screen here. We'll, we'll get fully to the main screen. We'll enter in our master code just to get us there or not. Oh, there we go. OK, so we're at the main screen of the L7000. We're starting fresh here. And so here's how you would get back into programming. Uh, you're going to choose security. And then you're going to choose more. And you're going to choose tools. And this time you're going to enter in your master code, uh, which ours is at the default of 1234. Normally you change this code, but um, we have ours at the default. So 1234. And now we're in what's called the master tools menu. So uh, we're going to choose test, and then we're going to choose reboot. And it's going to ask us if we're sure. And once, um, once I click yes, it's going to begin rebooting. Now, if you don't know the master code for your system, uh, there is another way you can do this. You can open up the panel um, and disconnect the backup battery and unplug the transformer to power down the system completely. And then uh, when you plug the transformer back in, the system will boot back up. So uh, you can also use that to begin the rebooting process. But we know our master code, so we're going to do it this way. And then once the system is um, lighting back up, we're going to press home. And we're going to hold it until the, the bar at the top here. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Uh, so we're going to press yes. And we're just going to wait for the reboot process to begin. And we're going to press and hold the home button. Um, and we have to hold this for a while, so this will be sped up. Um, and we're going to keep holding down this button uh, until uh, the top bar changes to, um, in our case, it's probably going to give us a trouble condition, because I think our battery is low in this system. But if you also get the ready to arm, whether the top bar is green or yellow, uh, that's what you when you when you let go. So just keep holding. OK, now we got our button here. So we released it. We press security, and then arm stay. And you have to do that pretty quickly. And then you press clear 0, 0. And then it will allow us to get into programming again. So we've successfully gotten back into programming after we became locked out. Um, so you just do that backdoor method like that. You either um, do a hard reboot of like opening up the system and disconnecting the back battery and unplugging the transformer, or you do that menu option that I showed you. And that's the one I recommend if you know your master code, uh, because you won't have to fiddle around with the panel or open it up. So it's a lot easier to do it that way. And then um, if, if you or were doing this because you didn't have the installer code for your system, because um, a, a lot of times people are locked out because they simply don't know the installer code. It was changed, and 4112 doesn't work. Uh, you would want to go into installer code and, and set it to 4112. Um, can, we'll, we'll press clear just to show you, 4, 1, 1, 2, and then we'll click done. And that, that way we know our installer code is at the default. So if we ever lose it again, we can look it up. Um, it's, we list it all the time on the AlarmGrid site, uh, 4, 1, 1, 2. So make sure you know your installer code, 
And also when you exit programming, always choose yes, so that way you don't become locked out. And then we can just go back to the main screen. Um, so that's how you get back into programming on a Honeywell Lynx Touch L7000 security system. If you become locked out, you use what's called the backdoor method. Um, if you have any questions about the L7000 or about alarm monitoring or any other security system, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the thumbs up button below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.